I forgot to test my mic. Hello, hello. This is a mic check. What's up, Raspy Doo?
What's going on, everybody? Welcome in. How you doing? Let me turn this down a bit so you can hear me. How's it going, everybody? Welcome in. Thanks for the raid, Chalk. How you doing? How'd the rest of your stream go? Who do we got here? Yo, dude, Chinese Hulk is totally rad. They're all about that retro gaming life, man. From Castlevania to Donkey Kong, they're playing it all. It's like a blast from the past, but with a chill vibe. Chill? Hmm, I don't know about that. And they're even throwing in some Daikatana for good measure. Totally tubular, right? We've got Raspy here, of course. We've got Chinese Hulk. Took, took you long enough. I had to turn my damn computer on. Start everything up. And then uh, then my, my audio wasn't working for some reason. Thank you for the long stream. I'm entering my 12th hour building this Lego set. I have been sitting here with you all day. Staying sane. What's up, Turquoise? How you doing? Welcome in. Mort, good to see you. Chalk appreciates my tartiness, like a like a custard tart. Copied the wrong rate message. <laughs> uh, knighted Tomb, welcome in. Good to see you. Lone Toffee. CM Punk. Fuck that guy. E Kitties, welcome in. How you doing? Took me long enough. Yes, it did. Looking forward to falling asleep to some Plock, hell yeah. Well, let's get, get into it then. It's uh, it's Plocktober. We're going to play some Plock. How about that? How about this good shit? Must tank? I must skip the tank? I know. I gotta skip that shit because it's, it's the worst damn stage. Who puts a who puts a tank in a fucking platforming stage? Fucking dumb. That's some dumb shit. Man, this this music goes hard. All right. Let's put that down just a touch more, maybe there-ish. It's still pretty loud compared to my voice, probably. Damn good music, though. Alright. We'll go there. <clears throat> you ready to see the, uh... You ready to see some pro strats at this game, ch uh, Chulk? Alright. Thanks again for that raid, dude. I really appreciate that. And welcome in, everybody. If you're new here, I am Gresco. We play, uh, retro games. And it's Plocktober. We're celebrating the Plocktober. So we're gonna start on block again. This is not a first playthrough, which is what I typically do. Okay, cool. Thank you, Iron, and thank you, Chalk. It looked like a looked like a really fun game. <clears throat> did I read the manual before I started this game? Yes, I did. We can jump, we can punch, and we can kick. We can do a big-ass jump. And we can do a Y button that does nothing. What's the Y button do, chat? What does the Y button do? Pro strats incoming, like, how to instantly die? Yeah. Yep, that's the strat. Actually, I want to try something, since I'm on the first stage. The Y button! What's up, Dunk Don'ts? How you doing? I want to try something. This chalk is what you... Hey, Sokka, how you doing? Welcome in. Love that, uh, love that emote. Diddled again, absolutely. Saint Plock, love it. If you if you pop the fruit, if you over plump them, Chulk, some of them will take you to race stages like this, and they're warps. And they're like, I've never been able to get through them like that. I'm just gonna reset actually because I want to try this. Um, <clears throat> and if you can get through them, they're warps. I was watching the speed run last night for it. The dude that has the world record is at like 28 minutes something for this game. <laughs> Can't stop the pluck. What's up, Formal? How you doing? <laughs> and then we'll stop fucking around. I just want to try this a few times. 
Yeah, learn the speedrun. That'd be awesome. And then learn the speedrun to uh, Donald Land. Fuck, I am so screwed. Damn it. <laughs> Man, that shit's tough. I guess it doesn't matter. I can just go here. Um, what's the story behind this game? So fleas have taken over blocks. Um, here I can I can pull up the manual actually. Fleas have taken over his island, and he's pissed about it. Can I bring it up actually? Let's see. Gonna... I'm just gonna link to this. And that's the manual. It has the story in it and everything. Didn't they steal his underwear? Um, they like... Yeah, like, there, there's like some of the flags that you have to get. Um... What's up, James? How you doing? Welcome in. It's block time. Um, but some of the flags, whenever you raise the flag up, it's like a pair of boxers. Nice and quiet on Acrylic Island. Where is it? Hmm? Creepy crag? Nope. Rindami Bog? No. Breezy Beach? No. Where else could it be? Over there. Aha, uh -huh, there it is on Cotton Island. <laughs> what I was trying to do just now, James, is I was trying the uh, the helicopter special stage here a couple times. Oh damn it, I fucked it up. I was trying that a couple times just to just out of curiosity to see if I could actually get it, but it's too tough for me. Because I was watching the speedrun the other night, last night, and uh, they use um, they use the warps a lot, obviously, to get a 28 minute time. They use the, uh, they use the warps a lot. And there's the one right here at the beginning of the first stage, and it takes you almost to the bobbins. Like, it takes you, I think, one one or two stages before them, which is kind of crazy. The rest are just stupid. <laughs> That's the only one you ever managed? Yeah, there's this boxer shorts, Saka. Found them. <laughs> See, it'll take you all the way over to... Not the... Okay, from the bobbins, go up and right a little bit. Not that flagpole but then the one just like up to the left to touch it'll warp you right there and then in the next stage the one right before the bobbins is is oh, i was holding i was using the d-pad or the analog stick instead of the d-pad um it'll warp you like super late in the game so like don't even go to don't even fight the bobbins you just skip them in the one right uh right after or right before them <laughs> forgot to spin the wheel damn it after constantly increasing the chance of this game chances in the wheel and the chalk streaming nah it's not karma because i was going to play this for plocktober anyway i've already played it before i played it a couple years back it was one of my earlier games Fuck you guys. But I'm glad he played it and he liked it. Plump your fruits. Always plump your fruit, chat. It's important to plump your fruits. 
can't hit him with that, I guess. Oh yeah, totally. We'll totally trust you, Chal. Bloop. It's gonna be Rocky Rodent next. See, we we had boxers on the flagpole. Now we've got a scarf. What's next? As a copite. What is it? What is a copite? Copite. Wow. Get over there. Get over there. Oh shit, nope. You can't look down in this game, you slide. Is it gobshite? Oh. Oh, gobshite. Right. I forgot about those. Oh, I also saw in that speedrun, James, remember the stage where you go across on a pla uh, across the water on a platform and then you go up to the flag. As you're going across, there's an up an up arrow in the uh, in the shells. If you wait that out, that platform out a certain number of times, I guess, it whenever you get on it, it'll it'll go up at that up arrow. It's crazy. And it takes you up to a tree at the very top and there's a fruit on it that has a, uh, a bonus stage in it. It's wild. You bitch. See, like, that tells you to go down to the bottom right. But why does it tell you that? And I need to remember that when they're flashing, they have iframes. And so it's not worth me blasting a bunch of limbs at them for nothing. I just need to jump over and wait for him to settle down again, and then I can hit him again. What team do I support? I support Team Retro. Team Dank Jank. Team Dank Jank. I've been diddled again, and I didn't get my my first try disc on that one. Because I suck at this game. I support the Bobbins twins. I support Team Bobbins. Oh great. Oh great. Come on, Twitchy. Or er, 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 Clocky. I lost my, uh... I lost my chance at a, a first try disc there, too. That goes... There goes that explanation. Um, I don't really have... Son of a bitch. If I keep doing shit like that, it's gonna be forever. But, uh... My goal is just do less than the first time, which was like 24 stream hours. If I keep playing clock like a fucking noob, I'm gonna never make it to the end though. What's up, Fariel? How you doing? Welcome in. It's plot time. We plot in. I didn't even use that. The outfit's weapon at all. Why is everything so quiet? Is it too quiet? Do I need to turn shit up?
Is Plonk a little louder now? But it didn't work out? Nope. And it won't. Because it's not Plocktember, it's Blocktober. Oh, it always is, I don't know. It always is on my streams, they're always very quiet. And I'm not sure how to fix that, I mean I could bump my... My mic up a lot? And if I bump my mic up some, then I have to bump the game music up some? I don't know. Smoke weed every day. Oh, I almost got trolled because of Snoop. Sea Doc St. Plot. Hell yeah, St. Plot. Sakonikal just unlocked the rarest plot collectible, a Twitch sub to Gresco Kit. That's right. That is a plot collectible. Thank you so much for the sub, Sakonikal. I really appreciate that. And thank you for the St. Plot. They want me to go down there. I don't know if I want to go down there. Grab all those. There was something else that they did too, where they bounced up through the, um, you bastard. They bounced up, like, they fell down in the water down below there on one of those bridges, and they bounced up, um, over top of the, like, the barbed wire fence thing up top, and saved some time that way. It was kind of interesting. I can't do any of those cool strats, though. I'm not good enough. Yeah. Well, it sends like a... Did it send up like a platform or something? I can't remember. It was something real weird. Damn you. Flame on. Aw, oh, you bitch. Ah, no, another bitch. You're a bitch. You're all bitches. Stop it. I just want to get my block to continue. Don't troll me like that, dude. Got me that bonus block, but I'm about to get hit and die. Oh, okay. oh, so plump and wait. It was so plump and juicy, but then I didn't get it. Yeah, like, was it this? Whoa, no, don't do that. Plock is better than Sonic. Absolutely. I think I just fucked myself. Pretty sure I just fucked myself. Oh no, it's back. Okay, good. Damn it. Oh, fuck me. Damn it. Was it that one? That didn't have the up arrow, though. Oh yeah, I saw that one today and I liked it. Oh, damn it. He got me while he was still, uh, while he was dying. He was still able to hit me as he was dying. Go next where your fans' opinions are invalid. LOLS. Got him. I'm 
I'm doing so terribly. It's like trying to rush everything. I was trying to find a safe zone down there if I could get duck underneath the rocks, but I don't know. He looks so much less furious for the Japanese version. Yeah, he just looks like a fun little guy. I could go get Sherlock over there, I suppose, but... You bastard. What a bastard! I guess the fire dude probably could help with this guy a little bit. It apparently did, yeah. I just saw it on the internet before I started stream. And I said, that looks fun, let's use that instead. Oh, you dick. I couldn't jump because my fucking limbs were gone. I fucked myself. That's fine. I adjusted my volumes a little bit. I turned my mic up and the game volume up. I don't know if it sounds any different. Fleas. More plastic toy. Yeah. Yeah, he's very, like, cartoony and plastic looking. Like a 70s style, yeah. Is this the one that I can... I can just slide down? I don't remember. The answer is yes-ish? Oh, it's this one. Audio balance is good, okay. He let it bounce he let it bounce back a couple of times. Yeah, look at that. Oh shit. The USA one, he's a furious block of clay. I know, right? The end scene of this is the funniest shit ever. The score screen, where it's like, uh, he just looks like the most jank version of a plot that's humanly possible. Yeah, apart from when you fall, that's, that's not the cool part. Can I get over here, though? Yeah, I can. Because... The dude in the speed run, he took the uh, he took the bonus game there. But I don't want to do that. I want to move on. I'm bad at bonus games. So unexpected. Which part? Where I just fell down and died? That was totally expected. Or the part where it just randomly flies up if you let it if you let it go a couple times. Oh, the jank block, yeah. Clamp and juicy. Get there, get there, get there, I fucked it up. Nope, I'm good. Cool. Plot continue, baby. This has gone beyond a joke. No one's gonna diddle me again. All right, this is the true, this is the first test. Here we go. First checkpoint.
Come on. Come on, Plucky boy. Fuck you. First try, baby! Easy, boss. That's how you do it, Chalk, right there, baby. Now, don't expect me to first try the triple bobbins. Because that's not going to happen. This is just the warm up. Thanks for the GGs. So, that should be our first hard checkpoint, I believe. Clock arrives home the next morning. I've been duped. All my flags have been stolen while I was on Cotton Island. Yes, he came back home to Acrylic Island. This is his home. He is king of Acrylic Island. My square flag was stolen as bait to lure me away while the fleas invaded. Grrr! I'll punch the daylights out of every last one of them. Yeah, you will. Punch the shit out of that queen. Shoot her with some confetti guns. Oops, that's a spoiler because that's that's not in the manual. They show all of the uh, they show all of the enemies in the manual except for the queen. She's like blacked out, like top secret. And then uh, same with the final vehicle. It shows all the vehicles um, except for the final one with the spring shoes. That's blacked out as well. It's kind of funny. Oh, I learned in the manual the the funny shaped fleas, the ones that, I mean, these are funny shaped too, obviously, because they look like frogs, but um, the bigger ones that get even more mutated and weird looking are super fleas. I love this tune. Man, the music, this OST is so damn good. Fallen Bros for the win. R.I.P. Jeff. Oh, you fuck right off there, Flea. Beta ba beam. Beta ba beam wheel. As I was sitting watching Chulk play this, watching him skip all the fleas and not attack them and kill them, and just holding my tongue like, ooh, he's gonna regret that later. I remember in particular whenever you got up to the one area at the top left in this stage where there was like, uh, we're coming up to it here, where there's like the flea that's behind the breakable black brick walls here. Up, up top here, and you're like, I wonder if I need to kill these. Go get them. Go get them, buddies. You're not going to get him. Attack him. That's why I hate those fucking, uh... The fucking wasps. Oh, they were attacking the one down below, I see. Didn't even notice the flea bar at the beginning. Yeah. What's up, N39? How you doing? Like, he's probably gonna regret that if he just leaves and then has to go all the way back to the beginning of the stage. But no hints, no spoilers! What the plock? What the exploding man? I still need to check out the comic books by the Pickford Brothers. Fucker. There we go. They look good, the comics. You're pretty blaze. Man. 
Should I get more blades? I probably should. What is a proc without a bunch of cannabis in, in your brain? God, this game is so good, though. I'm already... I was legitimately... I was, I was actually... I mentioned this to James yesterday as well. I was like... Um, I was like legitimately nervous to play Block again. Because... Like... I advocate for it so often. And I talk about it all the time. But I, I'm not good at it. By any stretch of the imagination. There's actually a vehicle stage here too, I believe. I hate that they do that. I'm like, was like legitimately nervous to kind of play this today. I was getting like pre-stream jitters because, uh, you know, what if I do stupid shit like that? An analog player? Like analog stick? I use the D-pad, if that's what you mean. Sometimes I fiddle with this just... Oh yeah, there it's like the Xbox S style. It's that style D-pad and it's very clicky. It's a very clicky controller, which I don't mind. I kind of like that because I can hear when I'm clicking shit. It's not like the expensive pro one that has like the removable changeable analog and d-pads and stuff it's just like the normal excess controller so whatever that means whoops i didn't see that there i'm really not sure the difference because i haven't really kept up with modern gaming stuff for a long time Still digging my nails. Um, they have not mentioned it there recently. But maybe after I... Uh, maybe after I redo them in the, the sparkly black for Halloween. Maybe they'll mention something about it. That's true. It is, it is true. Wait, you mean it has a third dimension? That's fucking weird. What am I gonna do with three dimensions? Who needs game manuals? That just reminded me. I'm going to close down my browser window where I had that manual open. Alright, here we go. Grabbing me some shells. Whoops. Hey there, Plonky boy. Get yourself some shells. I guess let's be uh, systematic about this. Let's start at the left hand side of the stage. There must be a method to my madness. I don't have, yeah, I don't have the amulet yet. That comes after Grandpappy Plop. I need to get my arms back. Let's go kick a fucking flea in the face, shall we? In the face! Got him. There was a hanger back at the beginning. Oh no, fucking bees, not the bees, not the bees. Damn bees, man. 
You would read the manuals on the way home after buying the game and forget everything you read, and then never read it again. But you remember the art. You remember like the the game art and stuff in the manuals probably. And that's what matters. You don't need to retain the important stuff like how to play the game, but as long as you can remember what the art looked like in it. I'm gonna try and go up around here. backtrack to over here if I can I can't remember nope can't do it gonna drop down past the bees no not the bees damn it yeet there we go what's up fucker Come on, fucker. Get back up here. Where'd you go, dickwad? Come on. Got him. Come on down, buddy. Come on. Can I get that up there? Hmm. How do I get that up there? I can't remember. Bum bum. Probably like this. Oh, you damn fucking flower. Why so mean, dude? Alright, that gives me my limbs back, so this is good. Sherlock Holmes. I like in the manual for this, it says that he's like a, uh, like a proper country gentleman or something. just out for a hunt on his estate. I hear you. I hear you up here. Man, those vehicle stages are gonna be a bitch. The vehicle stages are gonna be a bitch. Can those be killed? No. Couldn't remember. And for an X hat and right, they just gave you stickers instead. What kind of stickers? Fun stickers? Pot stickers? Pot stickers are fun. Fun to eat. Come on, Block, you get those. You there. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. And they know that. So they did that on purpose. I'm 
boingi, boingi, boingi. All right, so now I'm just gonna loop back up around here again, off to the right. That way I can sneak in from the top like I did before. Yeah, I know there are fleas down there. Chill out. There are also shells, and lives are important in this game. Were they packs of stickers that came with stale gum? That'd be fun. Get him, dudes. Get him again. Are you kidding? Oh, fuck. I hit the damn. Are you. Wow. I hit the fucking. Uh, barbed wire. Son of a bitch. There's our bonus block. I mean, we can just go to the end now. We killed all the fleas, but I might as well collect all these shells now that I've lost that life. I need to, I need to collect lives. myself. Now I need to get all these shells. Velveeta shells and cheese. Yeah, and like uh, baseball cards and garbage pail kid cards. But weren't those stickers? I'm trying to remember. Were the garbage pail kids sticker cards? I cannot remember. I feel like they were maybe stickers. With that gum, yeah. Oh, don't go up there, Plock. What the hell are you doing? Oh shit, how did I get over there before? Wait, 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 that's weird. I ran over here last time. And I just went right through that wall. What the fuck? They're gonna make me go all the way up around again. Which is fine, but like, how did I get through there last time? That's strange. Missed. One of the major flaws I think of this game is just Super Nintendo related where everything that they did they majorly cropped. So it just feels a little zoomed in. It could be less zoomed in. Give me a little more vision of, of what's around me. But that's fine. Plock's an exploding man. The Exploding Man. Yeah, 
Now we get the amulet that I always forget to use. I forget what it does. You rock it back and forth and you get like the amulet kind of animations, but I forget what it does. And I don't think the... I don't think the manual told me what it did. Shrine of the Ancient Grandpappy Plock. And now we fall asleep, and we dream about Grandpappy. In the very same place 50 years ago, Grandpappy Plock was also looking for the lost amulets. Yeah, he was. Where's it at? It couldn't possibly be inside the statue of Grandpappy Plock. Man, Acrylic Island was so much different back then. Look, there's just a bunch of trees. No flagpoles, nothing. Ooh, and there's like a sea serpent. Scared. A vet dream. Yikes. Dig that shit up, Grandpappy. We got that plot continue. Bum -bum. We need more one-ups, though. We, we need more mustachioed plocks. I must have buried it over here, then. There's a lot of... There's a lot of steady bass in the music on Grandpappy's Isle. They had a lot of heavy bass back then. Where'd that guy go? I wanted to kill him. Stepping on a duck. I heard it. It's rude. They shouldn't do that. It's rude. <laughs> it hurts the duck. Oh, that was just a carrot. Nobody wants a damn carrot. Move on. I'm certain it's this one. Some bonus blocks. Damn it. Fucking logs. It wants me to zip this way, or does it want me to zip? Nope. Nope, not that way. They didn't want me to zip that way. <clears throat> well, maybe they did because they wanted to troll me, but... They want me to zip this way. Through the logs. So juicy, but I fucked up. I fucked up again. It was so juicy, but it didn't matter. Go get it, Gramps. He's pretty strong to just pull up a one-ton weight like that. My memory's not what it used to be. Now we're going to Sponge Rocks. 
sua sponge. He's Hulk, was he? Oh, because of the one tons. I think those were meant to be punched. I don't think there's anything else over there aside from that. That dude. Damn it, flower. Always plump your fruit. I knew that was coming and I still got fucked up because there were four instead of three. It's an old shoe. Jimmy? Jimmy Crackcorn? Jimmy hat? Jimmy, ooh, so... I'm gonna watch that at some point. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I haven't watched SmackDown yet because they took it off of Hulu and they took uh, Raw off of Hulu, so I can't, I don't have a way to watch those anymore, legally. I don't have any legal ways to watch that shit anymore because companies make it so s fucking difficult to watch shit these days. Haven't seen it yet. I'm not saying go torrent shit, I'm saying studios are making it easier to want to resort back to the days of torrenting with all their shenanigans with five billion different fucking streaming apps. Yeah, I don't have Netflix, and that's why they took it off of, uh, off of Hulu. Hulu had it, you know, day after broadcast, like they do for tons of current shows. Um, and so I would just watch it the day after. But they took both away. Oh, I thought I still had the little diamond in its ability, but I was wrong. Too many shenanigans these days. There really are. There really are. Oh, he broke his vase. Damn. What sauce? What sauce, chat? That's the new, like, what the fuck exclamation. What sauce? Oh, we're on to Crotch Hill. Bonus block, baby! Plump, plump, plump and juicy! Oh, you dicks.
It's the bechamel and Julia is the rue. Mmm. Now I want some like biscuits and gravy with like some southern country bechamel gravy. Have Netflix legit. I also have like a Jarg cable, but they don't tend to update the previous shows till about 24 hours later, so no thought about Yeah, like they don't want to stay up to, to watch it yesterday, yeah. Um Like that's what Hulu was for, is they do like day after broadcast um for current shows. Or they'll they'll put it up like the next day, but they didn't uh they did not renew because I suspect because Raw is going to Netflix and uh, both of them are still available with the Hulu live TV package where you're paying for actual like cable service essentially for live programming but I don't know how that's gonna work when January rolls around and it's exclusive to Netflix for live broadcasting Holy shit, they're fucking me up. Alright. These Bobbins brothers are fucking nuts. So tough to find the pattern on these guys. Sucks. How much junk am I buried? This Bobbin's boss is tough. This start is such bullshit, too. Because I lost all my limbs and it popped me up. I wanted to plump that damn fruit. You gotta plump your fruit. Alright, Bobbins is. Bobbins is is. What is this? What's your favorite food? Biscuits and gravy? Brits be like, uh, what? But it's so tasty. It's so tasty. Damn it. Huh? 
how many grits I was experimenting with making hominy from corn because I can't buy hominy here. How do you make hominy from corn? I know it's very swollen looking corn. And it's delicious. Discord. I don't know if that link works. It might. I think I said it not to expire. Gotta boil the corn in basic solution for okay, that makes sense because it's it like swells like it takes on a bunch of solution, like a bunch of water. Wash a bunch and rub off the husks and boil it and some more. Okay. Can use baking soda or hardwood ashes or lye water to make this interesting. Oh, why did he bounce that way? That fucked up the whole pattern. Not like I was doing any good at it anyway. But that fucked up the whole pattern. Alright. Let's try this again. Lye water freaks me out, man. Like, they make soaps and, like... Other, like, beauty products and shit out of it. But it'll just... It'll, like, burn the shit out of you if you don't use it right. And then they make... They use it in food solutions and stuff like that, too. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. Right, yeah. And it's not as... It's not as burny to you whenever it's all... Like, watered down and... It's way less, uh, way less dangerous. Should I pop it? Did nothing. Shouldn't have popped it. Popped it like a zit. Orange juice is tasty, but if you concentrated it, it would eat your skin too. True. All that heavy citric acid in it. It eats away at your uh, tooth enamel. That's why you wash it and do another boil. That makes sense. I know it's delicious. Nope, that's the wrong stage. Put that shit in some fucking pozole. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, don't do that, Grandpappy. Happy. You're stuck underneath. Nice. Perfect. Stuck underneath a rock in the water. Like a dumbass. Miss being able to just buy it in a can and call it. Yeah. Yup. 
Grandpappy, come on, man. Yeah, it's just so much easier to just buy it out of a can for that. Fuck it. Ah! Plump and juicy, plump and juicy, kill you. Plump and juicy. Fun to see how it's made. Yeah, I've always wondered how it was made. I just, I knew it was like swollen up corn. Um, so I assumed it had something to do with a process similar to that. Wasn't exactly exactly sure how they did that though. He papped his last pap. I know, what a, what a guy. What a guy that grandpappy. If only I could just find this damn amulet, you know? Then life would be okay. Life would be fine if I could just find that amulet. Damn it! You fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I can't get over there without the saw blade, that's for damn sure. At least we got a bonus block. Come on, Grandpappy. What the hell's your problem? Gadzooks! It was just a rope! I'm too old for this caper. We're on the log trail now. Gadzooks, man. Plump it. I'm gonna go take the Gadzook. Oh, I didn't get the fucking... Oh, that's fine. We're at the end here. I was going to say, I didn't get that diamond. It didn't drop quick enough. Yay, I found it. A broken vase. What sauce? Who would bury a broken vase like that? Crotch Hill. Crisscross applesauce. Spiders crawling down your back. Yikes. I'm not into that. That's for sure. I would not like that. I'd like to opt out. All right, Bob and Zizzes. I need to get into their matrix. The 
Bobbin's triplets. a nursery rhyme thing. It did not, uh... In the cartoon Family Guy with Roger the Alien, he puts on different personas, and one of them was a basketball player, and his signature move was crisscross applesauce, and he would, uh, he would do a little crisscross move, and he would say, crisscross applesauce! Until he like broke his ankle one game or something, and then his career was over. I cannot remember how to get into this pattern. Oh, crisscross definitely make you jump. That's true. Crisscross is gonna make you jump. Did I have a continue? How? You can never tell when I have a continue because the uh, the discs weren't lit up. I don't know. educated my sister on British vacuum culture today because she I guess there's some sort of like some sort of like Happy Meal situation at McDonald's with Crocs like the little shoes and she was like I got a little Croc and it had eyes on it had like little googly eyes on it and I was like let me tell you about some googly eyes that the Henry range of vacuum cleaners makes it to your shores one day. I know, that'd be great, right? Then I too could have a Henry or a James or a or a, a, a George. What else was there? Hetty? What was the pink one? Hetty? Fuck, man. Is that a shortened, like, a shortened name for, like, Henrietta or something like that? Or is that just a proper name, given name, Hetty? I just want to hide. Nope. See, I was in a pattern, but once you get out of it, you're fucked, man. You're just fucked. 
But do 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 do. You gotta love it. I'm gonna take a quick break and smoke some more weed because I want to. So give me a minute. In the meantime, let's listen to. Uh... Let's listen to this because this song doesn't get doesn't ever get old. BRB. Clock's got some hot boner action, that's for sure. Also harmonica action. He knows how to sure knows how to play a mean harmonica. Alright, we're back. I just needed a quick uh fart break, I mean smoke break. <coughs> Rob and I were talking to Chalk about that the other day. Um in Rob's stream because He's got a little mute switch, and he just mutes himself when he has to cough or whatever, but <coughs> we're talking about how it's like a, it's a fart switch, so that you don't end up with a fart clip like Chalk has. Alright, back to it. To it. I think you heard a gunshot? Damn, like IRL. When I hear that around here, it's usually just people shooting off fireworks for no fucking reason. Like, I don't know, a day or two ago? It was yesterday. It was last night. There were fucking fireworks. 
like three blocks over. I mean, why? What are you celebrating? Why? Why are you shooting off fireworks? I don't get it. I don't understand. I guess let me go kill these dudes first. All the time late at night. And that would at least make a little bit of sense if there was a mall parking lot nearby with like a baseball field or something. Or some sort of sports arena where when the local team wins they shoot off some fireworks or something. Because where I grew up we had like a minor league team or amateur team or whatever it was. And uh... They would do that, they would shoot off fireworks for wins at, like, home game wins. And that's whatever, I mean... But this was just, like, fucking people, yeah, just people in the, in the middle of the street, outside of their home. Shooting off aerial fireworks. kind that are better left to professionals, else they come down on somebody's roof and uh, burn their house down. Then they do things like stick them up there, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Or, oh, my personal favorite is when people will have Roman candle fights where they just fucking light a Roman candle and they hold it in their hand and they aim it at their friends and they try and shoot each other with fucking balls of fucking burning metal. Smart. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't do Roman candle fights, chat. It's fucking stupid. It really is. People have like lost eyes and shit that way. Cause you're just it's you're it's like molten fucking metal coming out of the end of those tubes. And people are like, let me just shoot this at my friend like it's a fucking paintball. Cause it's pretty colors. Like jackass jackass when they tied a bottle rocket to their dick. And then it, when it went off and it was like pulling their dicks away from them, they were like, ow, this hurts. Who would have thunk it? We got gunpowder going off and pulling this item away from my body. Why does that hurt me? I'm so shocked that most of those guys are still alive. It's kind of crazy to think about, actually. Just all the, the wild shit that they've done. I know that Johnny Knoxville broke his penis once. That's an injury I would not like to have. Yeah, Steve has been sober for like... I don't know. 15 years or more, probably? It's been a while. Bastard. No, 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 no. Yeah, broken fucking penis. It can happen, apparently. He was on a... like a dirt bike. Damn it. It was in one of the movies. It's actually in the movie. They kept it in, but like... A dirt bike came down on his pelvis and he like broke his pelvis and he broke his dick.
I mean, how do you even cope with that? Like, man. Oh, decent catheter. And stay flaccid 24-7. Stay flaccid, my friends. Give me my arm back, dude. don't need to be going back backtracking like this. This is the wrong way. Those are meant to be used on the way out after I kill this dude. I did save one of them though. Like that clip with him and Travis Pastrana where they were talking about the accident Travis was like, so when you did that flip I told you to never let the let go of the bike and what did you do? I let go of the bike. Yeah. It's funny. That's why you don't let go of the bike. <laughs> Good old Travis Pastrana. You just gotta pin it. Wah. He's done some crazy shit. Don't go that way, apparently. Don't go with the bike. CKY skateboard bits, yeah, that's old school. Old school. Used to watch Pastrana doing all the X game stuff back in the day, it was incredible. So I had a roommate um, a while back, lived in uh, Utah for a while, and Pastrana's got like his friend and like producer guy owns a fucking uh, like a shipping company, like a trucking company in Salt Lake City. And so he's like always in that area, and my roommate was a uh, like a motocross rider and like he would actually he actually met him a few times when he was hanging out and they rode together on one course for for a minute and he was trying to teach him how to do a backflip and I don't think my buddy ever got the hang of it he was like ah, I'm too scared and Travis being Travis is like you just gotta pin it Which means like just like pull the throttle back all the way just max out the throttle and just pin it pin it to win it like you just pin it and lean back and, and, and look behind you and the bike will follow and uh, I mean naturally any sane person who tries to do that their body's like hmm nah that's not right so there's obvious, obviously some hesitation, but like, for Travis, there's like, none of that. It's just like, well, just fucking do it. Yeah, understandable for like a normal person, right? You're just like, hmm, body says I probably shouldn't try that. Travis is just like, just do it, dude. Just do it. It's the worst that could happen. You could fucking break your neck and spine and and just die instantly or become paralyzed, but it's all good. Just pin it, dude. 
I'm gonna backtrack for my limbs after this one. Back then it was such a huge thing, yeah. Like, holy shit, dude just did a backflip on a motorcycle. Now if you're not doing like a double backflip with like with Superman hands, everybody's like, fuck you man. What good are you? Where'd this guy go? I kick you. I kick you again. Oh, you went down here. That makes it harder to hit you. Whoa. Easy. Easy, buddy. Easy. I think the guy's name is Godfrey. Greg Godfrey, maybe? Godfrey Trucking. The guy that Pastrana's buddies with, that has the trucking company. I would go watch my uh, my roommate back then do his motocross races. That was kind of fun. doing like all those big jumps and shit mid-race it's pretty neat judge judy i remember judge judy is she still alive didn't she have a Man, I feel like she had a show when I was on when I was in like high school, junior high. She's still doing it, Judy Justice, an executioner. Judge Judy, an executioner. Yep. The whole, like, TV court show... Why did I do that? The whole TV court show thing has always been really fucking weird to me. Like, let me just go take this serious legal matter to television so that everybody can, can laugh at me. Yep, that, like, People's Court with Judge Wapner. Voluntary arbitration move. Uh, that's probably true. Look at you being all logical, Sokka. I mean, she's like a legit judge, I think, right? Shit's legally binding, but you're not gonna see, like, uh... You're not gonna see, like, a murder trial on there.
before doing the show. That's what I thought. Well, bam. No, no, be no. Let's just gather some shells on our way up. Might as well. Might as well. Judge Judy. And then, yeah, there was People's Court. What else? There were other... There have been, like... There have been other judge shows like that. Judge Mathis. I remember there one being called Judge Mathis. Tonight on Judge Mathis. Yeet. Can't make that. Gotta go up here. That's fine. I know there were more, though. Late at night, as I feel like. Favorite thing was the arrested development gags around celebrity judge shows. Judge Reinhold and then the Pinnacle. All Rise, Bud Court is in Helen's session. I forgot about Judge Reinhold being a judge. That was funny. Judge Reinhold, the judge. Judge, judge. And Jerry Springer. Well, he wasn't a judge, but... There was sure a lot there sure was a lot of judgment going on on that show. I know I judged people on that show. Like who the fuck even are you? Who are these people? Blah blah blah, yeah. What's up, Grizzleby? Blah blah blah, attorney at law. Oh, I don't know. Blah blah blah. You got him. Look how happy Flock is. Yay! Now I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap leaning up against your crotch, Granddaddy. Let me just let me just rest my head on your on your crotch, Grandpappy Flock. Crotch nap. Yep. Come on. Wish I could just skip through all that shit. There we go. Mace Cove. Hello. Hello. Is it, Is it me you're, you're looking, looking for? for? I can see it in Rob's eyes. What's up, Rob? Thanks for the raid. How you doing? Welcome in, Raiders. How was your uh, RPG in? Stopped in for a bit. Rob's all about that retro life, baby. They're diving deep into Bahamut Lagoon. No hints or spoilers allowed. It's a first time playthrough, so let's keep it chill. And let Rob ra enjoy the ride. Hell yeah. It's Plocktober! Man, I am, uh... 
I'm currently stuck on the uh, the Bobbin's triplets. Had a rough go at it the first time I got to him a little bit ago. Stick that in your block and smoke it. Having trouble finding the rhythm. I almost got into it. But I didn't quite get it. So I gotta hone in on that strat on how to kill those dudes again. Speaking of smoke. But I just did that. I could do it more though. Could always do it more. I will. I'll take a break here in a while. Like a good and proper break. I gotta beat the Bobbins triplets. Yeah, go get you some snacks, dude. Thanks for the raid. I'll be around for a while. Come back and enjoy some plot. Appreciate the raid. Good to see ya. My timing was off on that, but I think it threw me forward enough that it helped. Got me back on track. I did get hit, but... But I can plump this fruit, and we're all right. I always forget about that third one. There's always one more. I always give that advice out, and I never remember to take it. There's always another one. Block continue. Alright, Grandpappy. Let's go. That was heavy. That was heavy. Yikes. A plock teeny? No, but I've worn a hand keeny before. Is that the same thing? Have you ever worn a hand keeny? Damn it. Come on, Grandpap. Oh, wrong fucking button. It's like 1.75 ounce of block and some bitters and splash with grenadine. Oh, nice. Sounds delicious. Sounds block delicious. Yeah, he is. Grandpappy likes swimming, I guess. He almost did it again there. I knew that was coming, but I just fucked it up. I fucked up the jump. It's plockalicious. It's plocktastically plockalicious. Good thing the ending was right there. Taylor Swifty Peaks. Not the first one, is it the third one? the third one on that one. These are the Swift DPs. This is Peak Swifty. What is Peak Taylor Swift? I don't know. Because the only song I know by her is that Shake It Off one.
is that? Peak Taylor Swift? Oh shit. Happy go. All right, we found the broken vase. What sauce? We buried all the junk. Zoom zoom. Bitch, come on, quit slipping. Son of a bitch. Why is he so damn slippery? saw blades? No. It makes me want to be able to morph into one though. <coughs> it looks fun to just zip around the screen like that. Alright, Bobbins is. Let's do this. Let's stop their tomfoolery, shall we? That's not the pattern. That's not the pattern. Shit. Shit. This next one? Okay. You actually kind of want them separated, I believe. Um, two on one side, one on the other. If you can do that, there's a way that you can um, push back the other two, I think. 
why did it take me back this far? I thought the plot continued took me back to like... I had to do like one stage again. Before Bobbins. Probably put out a balance patch to make it harder, probably. It's what devs do. It's how they get you. Download my DLC now. All about that DLC, baby. Holy bitch. So that's where the left one went. Come on. You just start with one limb and the other three are micro Yeah, like microtransaction stations. They're like... Watch five ads to unlock Clock's arm. To permanently unlock Clock's limbs, for this one run, pay 99 cents. To permanently unlock them for one, one run. Too old for this caper. Sorry, a dollar per limb would make more sense. Son of a bitch! Man, I don't under I don't know how to do the fucking spike ball things. The timing on them is just so bad. Do it that way, I guess. I need plump and juicy fruit. Yeah, they're so they're so tough to figure out. Oh yeah, you. What's up, Dino? How's it going? What even are they? I don't know, man. They're like... Like undersea mines, but in the air. Like, you know those underwater mines that are like, uh... They're like the spike balls? Big spiky balls. Who likes big spiky balls? Yeah, yeah, chocolate salty balls. Put them in your mouth and suck them. Put them in your mouth and suck them and suck them. 
Suck on my chocolate salt and balls. What were there was something in there good for you? I can't remember the lyric. I just remember they were good for you. And that you should suck on his balls. Suck on my balls. All right, Bob and Zizzes. up the cookie sheet because I hate when balls stick. Then preheat the oven to 350 and give that spoon a lift. 350. Set it to 350. And he asked me for 350. Dirt mound? That's bad. That's bad placement. I still don't understand why it took me all the way back to the beginning of the Grandpappy Island. Um, whenever I plot continued. Because the time before that, it, uh, it took me back to the stage before the bobbins. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand that fight. Why does this bounce that way every time? Into the water. I don't get it. I punch it from the left to the right, and it moves back to the left. Doesn't make any sense. I think the Bobbins fight, the triple Bobbins fight is one of the most difficult fights. It really is. The timing on it is so weird. Like, I feel like Womack Spider and... Um... Even Rocky Fella, like, the patterns are much more visible. And Bobbin's trio is just kind of all over the place. You fucking asshole. I jumped as soon as I hit. As soon as I fucking hit. Didn't recognize it. Didn't recognize my jump input. It's 
to get the timing down there, not that bad. Yeah. Pankinos and the Bobbins fights. Yeah, Pankinos are kind of annoying to get the timing down for sure. I don't think they're all like they're super difficult in the grand scheme just because like of what they are, but it's just the timing on those to hit them. <clears throat> to hit them uh, with that speaker, like the speaker spike, the timing is so, so specific. Give me my fucking arm. Camping out one spiky thing, yeah. Did I miss one over here? Bad of a barrel, barrel. Yeah, I didn't go up here. Bad of a barrel. Wow, wow, wow. Oh yes, Clock. What's up, Earl? Why you do that? We're just having a fun time here playing some Clock. You gotta get all, you gotta get all personal and attack me. Who are you? Black DJX? The DJ? Pay you off to hate block? Is that what's happening here? It's rude. That's what I get for playing a good ass game for once. Instead of jank ass shit. He's so wiggly. Just saw much of it recently because of Chulk and Rob, yeah. But we're playing more because it's blocked over. I don't know if I have enough water over there for this. Let's have an arrow. No, 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 no. But this music, Earl. Music. Mm hmm. Sweet. Then spicy. You want to have to swallow it? I just want it to get super spicy. Mm. Mm hmm. Is it so spicy? Oh, 
Uh, at least it wasn't the Reaper. <clears throat> When a man is tired of plock, he is tired of life. Yep. That was Albert Einstein, alright. I remember that. Supposedly, he was a pretty smart dude. I don't know. Ahead of his time. <laughs> yeah, he was. Oh, spicy. He's gonna get his island back if it takes him all day. Or, like, forever. Should have gone and got all those shells up there. Velveeta shells and cheese. <laughs> Give me that bonus block. Give me more of that. Give me more of that block head. Take as much block head as the game will give me. Oh, I can get up there, okay. I know where the fleas are. Fuck off, game. Lasagna is taking too long to reheat house blocking. The, uh, Bobbin's triplets are kicking my ass, Rob. Kicking my ass. Can't get the pattern now. <clears throat> so now we're starting over again on the acrylic island. Because that's what we do in this game, is we start over a lot. That's what I was just saying to, um, and James and I were talking about. I really think it's the hardest boss. I wanted to go up the center there. Womack well, and Rocky Fella aren't bad once you get the pattern down, and their patterns are more visible and more apparent. Um, the Panko Breadcrumb Wizards are, they're not terrible, it's just timing it is pretty rough. I didn't see, that's 
took off to start streaming. I know he said he forgot to spin the wheel. And that he was just gonna spin it off stream now. And because everybody would trust him to say what it actually landed on. Looks like a dildo. <laughs> it's like the uh, Little Mermaid castle dildo. Mermaid Castle Dildo. Fuck, oh, come on, Sherplock. I wish I wouldn't have done that. Why do I do that? Because it's shiny and it's there. You get the fucking saw blade. I wish I wouldn't have done that. Because that, there's so many... There's so many shells down there. <laughs> that I'm just missing. Pretty much, yeah. Like, okay, gotta get it. Gotta do this. Why did it bounce? See, I don't get that. It bounces them, the eggs, towards you when you hit them. And it's really, it's really dumb. Because the blast from it would push it away from you. See? That pushed it. And now I can't get away from the damn flea. Lost health going for a health pickup? I know, right? So trolly. Why so trolly, Plop? Like that shit. I hit him. You gotta be more precise with your attacks there, Plop. Why can I hit him? The fuck, man? that little froggy flea. Finally. Oh yeah, we got this last one over here. He's a pain in the ass. No! No! section though this B this B's a fucker Come here you 
What are you doing? You're getting wild and crazy now. I don't like it. Alright, now that's back up the center, so we have to deal with the B again. Bonus block, yeah. Look at my little clock meter filling up. So cool. Such a neat feature. Yeah. My little clocky meter. Missed it. Let's go to the other side now. We've got to get all these seashells. So that we can get bonus blocks. Now we're good to go. Come on, raise the flag up, dude. What a beautiful sight. Yeah, it is. Nearly home now. Thanks for the GG's. This was the this was the toughest level in the game. Now we take a nap. It's grandpappy time. Get up, get up and pappin'. Come on. Z Z Z Z Z. Pappin' fappin'. Some grandpappy pappin'. Come on, grandpappy flock. Let's go. Mace code. Let's do this. He's a pretty sexy guy, it's true. They don't call him the exploding man for nothing. Ha rump. Ha rump and bah humbug. This lasagna is the tits. Hell yeah. Man, I still want some fucking lasagna. Some lasagna. Grandpappy Plock is even sexier though. Look at that mustache. I made like a, a polenta lasagna once. That was pretty good. Mm. 
Instead of nudes, there was like sliced up polenta. Not like a like a creamy kind of like like porridgey kind of polenta, but like like the slices, kind of like the like the shitty kind that comes in like a plastic casing tube in the in like the cooler section. Because then you can just slice that shit, and you can use the little little rounds like like noodles for it. Oh, he jumped right over me until I backtracked and stuck my face in his ass. Like to have things they can cook them over, yeah, and then refrigerate. Next up is a pan of eggplant parm. Hell yeah. Get you some of that eggplant parm. Put that eggplant in your mouth. It's the one I just can't seem to ever get. And I'm content with just leaving. I mean... What's up, kitty? Kill the Bobbins trio, Briss Kitty. What do you think about that? Can we do it? I don't know, man. They're tough. They're pretty tough. I don't know if you realize how tough they are, Briss Kitty. He's like, just do it, man. It's easy. It's a video game. Whoops. That was not ideal. Good thing I can plump up my fruit here. To Zoidberg? Maybe. I don't think he's a crab, though. Or a lobster, or whatever. It's almost like if you can... <clears throat> if you can get them spaced properly, like, you can... Shoot through the gap between the two little bomb... Thingies. Thank you, ma'am. Nope. Go dig in the dirt there, Grandpappy. What's up, Grass Kitty? You just chilling? Are you taking a nap? Sure, that's dirt. It's probably like a sewage tank that it, uh, that like exploded and overflowed. It's just raw sewage. It's just pure shit.
matter what I do there, I just can't. I just can't. I can't avoid them. I jumped! Give me your diamond, asshole. Give me your diamond, asshole. Diamond status. S tier asshole. It's just where people go and shit. It's like a it's like a primitive bathroom. If you need this shit, go in the pile up on the mountain. Downwind from it, please. Clamp and Julesy. Nah, black and white's where it's at. Don't let big TV con you into getting color television. It's not as good. Look at the definition and depths of of contrast between the blacks the black and white colors there. Look how defined and sharp everything is. You don't need colors. Turtle head. Go to the bathroom, formal. If you're turtle heading. Little prairie dog action. That first one run was good with their placement. I fucked it up. He got launched forward somehow. What the hell? Come on, Grandpappy. Give me that good pattern again. Come on.
Fuck, man. He was fucking... Oh, holy shit. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I almost fucked that up. What's on? What's up, Iron Ghost? How you doing? On a plane with bad Wi-Fi? Oh, no. Thanks for stopping in with the bad Wi-Fi when you can. This time, I'll put it somewhere real safe. Thanks for the GG's. Hell yeah. Look at those fireworks. Ghosts on a plane. That's right. You've seen snakes on a plane. Now, you'll see ghosts on a plane. Hell yeah. So we've got our um, next checkpoint done then. Two checkpoints down. Next one is Rocky Fella. <clears throat> well, what's this? Grandpappy's lost amulet? Skips the video a bunch. Oh no! Womp womp. Wow, with this magic amulet, I can turn shells into plot power. The fleas won't know what's hit them. Is that why I don't use it, maybe? Because it uses the shells, and I like the shells for extra lives, maybe? I can't remember. I also can't remember how to beat these dudes. Um, are they the ones that are like... They're not like the shield dudes where I have to hit them from behind, they're just... They just take a lot of hits, I think. You use your shells for the amulet, it makes it harder for you to earn bonus blocks, yeah. I couldn't get up there, damn. Oh, he's up there still? I thought he died. Oh, they're like spawning from there. I see. I gotcha. That's why they keep coming. Guess what? We should have a continue point. Let's see. Yeah, boy. We're in Plock Town, baby. Don't you fuck with Plock and Plock Town. You don't fuck with Plock and Plock Town. That's all I know. Yikes! Barrel, 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 barrel. Hot jam. Clocky jams. I see a berry. I don't want to eat it yet, though, but I'll plump it. I will plump that shit up. Mm 
You damn flea, yeah. I don't like it. Come here, flea. through them when I backtracked the other way. Plump Berry, come back. If I remember to come back. Thank you. Alright, alright, alright. Leave him. I don't really need him. Hell yeah. The Wi-Fi works-ish. You found a berry? What kind? Berry Manilow? Shit. That's not a berry, that's like earwax or some other bullshit. I don't think you know what berries are. I don't think you know what berries are. Burnt rubber is not berry flavored. It's just not. I don't know what you're thinking. Is there even a berry adjacent flavor in this pack, I wonder? Licorice, banana, it's fruity. Tutti Fruity's fruity. Berry blue, there is a berry blue. Let's go for berry blue. Let me put this on first. Come on, berry blue. It's dark. It might be liver and onions. Or cappuccino. I don't think I've gotten cappuccino yet, right? Hasn't it always been liver and onions? Liver and onions again! Oh, it's not fruity, it's very garlicky. Or oniony, rather. Oh, 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 The onion powder is so strong! It's like making my mouth froth. Mmm. 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 It's like, if you got a bottle of the, like, dollar store cheap onion powder, and you just ate a fucking spoonful of it, that's what that tastes like. Ugh. Oh, it's so bad. Man farts while being charged? Hell yeah. Oh, that was so gross. And I don't water. Gross. Wait, I need to go back. There's a flea back there. Found you. Knew you were back here. Clock does have jam jams, he really does. The hottest of mm -hmm. 
there's always one more. Audio only works, but no video. Womp womp. Lame. How do we get up there again? I forget. Oh, these assholes. Yeah, boy. You never found this, did you, Rob? I kept, I kept wanting you to backtrack, but you never did. Not that I can remember. How do I go drop down there? I can't remember. I thought I could drop down there. Oh, there we go. It's starting to decay. Just have to wait a certain amount of time. Yeah, boy. Now let's go down. Oh shit, no no no! We almost had the fucking... Damn it. Hello. We almost had the, uh... We almost had another, uh... Costume. Welcome in, Raiders, the Finer Things TTV. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? Welcome in. Ducks in Disguise, welcome in. How are you? Good to see you. Finer Things, good to see you. Welcome in, everybody. Get ready to power up for your nostalgia, dudes. The Finer Things TTV is all about that retro gaming life. Baby! They're diving deep into the pixelated past, playing the worst of the worst. From SNES platformers to garbage games, this co-stream is a blast from the past. So grab your controllers and join the fun. It's time to relive the glory days of gaming. See small welcome in. How you doing? Why, it's Pluck. A city in central Poland. Oh, hell yeah, is it? That's awesome. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for the raid. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Gresco. We play retro games. And uh, celebrating some Blocktober tonight. We can play through of Plonk for Super Nintendo. I won't play through it completely tonight. Uh, but we're past... We're past two checkpoints. I don't know why I'm fighting them, I'm just screwing around, I guess. Um, past two checkpoints at the, um, at, at this point, because we just beat, uh, we beat one of the bosses. So we're in sort of the, like, middle half of the game now. The middle third of the game, rather. <clears throat> they claim they play bad games, but nothing CDI so far. <laughs> Hell yeah, you need to play some CDI. Some good shit on CDI. Like those jank Zelda games. Can I get back into that bonus stage area now that I have died? I can't remember. It is Plocktober, if anybody would like to join in the fun. Play some Plock this Plocktober. It is a classic game. It is, it's difficult. It is a difficult game, that's for sure. But it's a fun one. It's quite a challenge. Davey has a collection of CDIs. He's working on buying them all so nobody else can play. <laughs> nice. Got four of them so far? Damn. Yeah, that is a lot of CDI. 
different models? Because I know those ones had a bunch of different models. Maybe not a bunch, but a few different models. There's like Philips CDI and who else made the other ones? We're coming in here to get a bunch of seashells so that we can get a bunch of one-ups, if you're not familiar with this game. If we get enough seashells, we can get bonus plocks, which are bonus plocks. They're extra lives. Extra plocky boys. Extra little plucky boys. And if, if we get enough of these silver ones, eventually the floor underneath here, the purple section of floor, breaks open. Yeah, and we get a little gift, which is a costume. He has different costumes and accessories. Which one is this? Oh yeah, I was supposed to fall down. That's right. There's there's a clock disc in there that I missed because I... Oh no, I can get it still. Perfect. Perfect. I may have, may have fucked myself there. Unless that platform... There we go. Okay, it comes back down. Good. Oh, damn it. Can you sell them by the seashore? I cannot. I don't have a business license for that. One to one CDI we call the dental CDI. Oh. Plus a pair of 450s and 220. What is the dental one? My mouth tastes like onion powder at the moment, which is frustrating. But we're getting through it. Alright. We're looking for, for one final fleet. Not remember where he's at. Oh, these. I remember these. I remember these. Damn it. No, no, no. No. No, why'd you come up here with me? Fuck, man. It's a CDI that was repurposed for use in healthcare facilities. 255 made. Only one known to have survived. Interesting, like what what were they using it for in a medical like healthcare situation, I wonder. Come on, Flock. I fucking jumped. I jumped. I promise, I jumped. Educational. Don't have any of the discs. Ah. Kind of like that McDonald's job training educational DS game. This is how you doctor. And they like they load up uh, they load up one of the Zelda games. Get all the seashells you can gather.
zoom zoom loads all CDI games and movies and it has an added printer port oh interesting what shall I print for my CDI today All right, if you have not played this game, if you collect these discs, PLOK, -okay, you'll get a, uh, a plot continue. So we have a continue now. I'm gonna go in here again. I mean, I'm gonna try and get another life since we lost that other one. There's our bonus block. <clears throat> oh, I can't pause in the bonus stage. Interesting. Gift me that gift. still get shit up here. Still dropping diamonds and shit? Oh, look at that. Plump juicy fruit. But I'm not gonna get up there in time, I don't think. Oh, he fucking came back. Damn it. That's shitty that he came back right then. Because all I did was go down and get that elevator platform to fly back up there, but he fucking came back. Damn it. That's fine. This is fine. Stormy be raven. Also, if you're not familiar with this game, the soundtrack was done by the Fallen Brothers, Tim and Jeff. Fuck up there! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, the timing on this sucks. The way that you have to uh, go through this entire stage to get to the platform that's literally below your feet at the very beginning of the stage. Very irritating. I got hit and it knocked me up. It knocked me up, chat. I wonder where Gris Kitty is. Taking a nap, probably. He just chilling. And 
Andy is good human. Indeed. Sleepy kitty. He's just chilling somewhere. You're not a good human? Well, I mean, obviously. Got him. <laughs> You're a good for something human, though, because you send me bro job videos and all the other weirdest shit on the internet. How else would I discover any of the- all the weird shit on the internet? Fruit. I plumped it good. We had some plump and juicy fruit. What fruit is juicy fruit the gum supposed to be? Just like generalized. Just like generalized tropical fruit flavor? I guess I'm supposed to ride this up and then ride it up again, maybe? this per day yeah how else do you how else would you do Plocktober other than 24 7 streams every single day of October it's the only thing that makes sense logically oh yeah I know it's a bubble gum I was just trying to figure out what flavor it's supposed to be like tropical fruit or something like general tropic tropical fruit. Chain since it was a stick, really? Like it still exists, but it's a different product now. It's a cube? What the hell? Why would they cube my juicy fruit? Why would they do such a thing? Fruit stripe gum, the zebra. Yeah, remember that had like if you stuck the wrapper on your tongue, it had like a it had like temporary tattoos on it for your tongue. We're at the panko breadcrumbs, everyone. I forgot to get my hands back. That fucking hi hat. That's how they that's where they get you. The damn hi hat.
Quok likes to party. Quok likes, Quok likes to party. Oh, I got that dude. Come on. There we go. Just trying to kill that one. Perfect. Now, what's the next one we're doing? This pink one, maybe? Or that pink one? It's this pink and purple one. Yeah, the strat here really is to do one of these dudes at a time. You can't handle doing more than one guy at a time. Why try? It starts getting super hectic like that whenever you do multiple, whenever you start attacking multiple ones at a time. So it's slower but usually better to just focus on one, one of them at a time. Fuck you. How did I miss that? On, you bastard. Damn it. Timing on this one is so rough. The plane's too cold? Oh no! Are you heading down to see your dad again? Back down the coast? down there already. 
How's he been doing? Super bonus. I'm very excited. Hell yeah. To get home, see the duckies. Thanks for GG's. This is the slog, though. This is the stretch of the game where it is long. You know what? I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a proper break. And I'm gonna get proper baked. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna tackle this section and see if we can get past Rocky Fella tonight. I think is a good goal. Hopefully we can we can do. We're in it now, hell yeah we are. So let me put on some hot Celeste jams. And I'm gonna go refill my water and refill my uh flower Official inhalation. Flower what the pluck? Oh shit, my not beloved pluck. What's up? Lag Masuta. How you doing? Welcome in. Uh yeah, it's that pluck. It's Plocktober. We'd be plucking. But I'm gonna take a break right now. Did your mom teach you how to handle multiple guys at once? Wow, going on break just as I remove your pants. Well, that's why I'm going on break, girl. Because I can, I can, I can picture it in my head. So, uh, give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. Bye.
Taking another break here in a little bit because I forgot to uh, forgot to go to the bathroom. But we'll wait for a little bit. We'll play some more plock. I did remember to refill my water though. I did something more productive than just get baked. But I also did get baked because that's important. Ain't no one getting plock blocked in this radical stream. We're all about that gnarly SNES action. Plock blocked. I love it. Sonic's not pregnant. He's been speeding through too many chili dog stands. Oh, well, no. He's not pregnant now. But he used to be. Who knocked him up? Sonic's love like is like totally bogus gossip. Let's focus on the radical world of Plock instead. All right, fine. Plockerino, I don't my, I don't want my wiener to grow. I want to keep it normal size. I just don't know if I'm up to snuff. Can you give me the average size of a wiener? The only size that matters is your high score, Rob. You should respond to that and ask him, so what, like, six, seven inches? What's the, what's the average high score, like six, seven inches? It does not compute. Tell me average. Tell me average size PP. Must know if my high score is big enough. Where'd that fucker go? It's pretty vague. Is the average flaccid wiener over five inches? Let's pause the wiener talk and get back to Narler. Man. Frosty's not having it. Frosty is not a fan of hot dogs. <laughs> My pixels are totally average. Yeah, but what is average? What are what like what is the what determines average? How average are you, Frosty? How many inches of code are you? can detach and throw his wiener. Um, that's what that song, there was a song about that. It's called Detachable Penis. I forget who did it. Uh, 
Ask Frosty if he knows who wrote the song Detachable Penis. King Missile, there you go. Thanks, Formal. He had a detachable penis. Thanks, Sokka. Yep, that's who it was. King Missile. Couldn't remember. Detachable fucking penis. Gotta hear that later. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a real song. Fucking King Missile. King Missile dropped that gnarly tune, but... Yeah, okay, well, I mean, Frosty knows, at least. Yeah, Plock... Well, I mean... Plock's radical limb-throwing action is what made us think of King Missile. So it's all related, Frosty. It's not like we're just talking about detachable penises out of nowhere. That would be silly. Forgot that was a thing. I remember. I remember now. Remember what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Plock's keeping his 16-bit bits to himself. He's all about throwing limbs, not love muscles. Let's stick to fucking love muscle. I, I dig that. Plock's love muscle. I've actually heard that one before, but, uh... Oh, it's because of Russell the Love Muscle. I don't remember where I heard that before, but, uh... I've heard that as a term for someone called Russell. Or someone who calls their penis Russell, maybe. Butthole Surfers go good with King Missile. I wonder if Frosty is a fan of butthole surfers. I wonder what Frosty's favorite butthole... Who's, whose butthole is Frosty's favorite to surf? Think he surfs buttholes? Starting to get PTSD, I know, right? This one was the craziest for me when I played through it the first time. Just because you play this one so damn much because you have to... Um, you get thrown back from the checkpoints and shit. So you have to play this over and over again until you beat Rocky Fella. So you play it so many damn times. And it takes so long because of the, the pillars. So good at some of the stages due to that. I know, right? And then there's the bullshit one where you uh, lose all your you lose all your limbs for half the fucking stage later on. <clears throat> that one's a fun one. Which uh, which song, Rob? King Missile? Detachable Penis? I don't remember that. I'll have to look it up. Son of a bitch.
Yeah, you can, but you, like, bounce around weird. Oh, that wasn't good. And you can hit things and get hit a lot easier. It's a pain in the ass. Let's get the rocky one. <clears throat> Though the, uh... Actually, this one's probably better for this stage because of the bees, the hives. All right, I'm gonna watch this later. When I watch Earl's video of um, a man farting while being charged by police. All right, actually, give me a minute. I am gonna do another quick break. What's up, Jam? I'm going to take a quick break, bathroom break. I'll be right back. Good to see you. I'm not leaving because you're getting here. Will you have some tea with me? Like Choke's uh, little tea redemption. I had some tea earlier. It was delicious. Another bees. What would make more asshole of this game? Time. Oh yeah, time limit would be awful. Oh, especially on a first playthrough, for sure. There that asshole went. Go get him, guys. Thank you. Bonus block. Can't go wrong with a good little bonus block. Can't put limits on Plock. Plock is boundless. That's right. Plock would not stand for that kind of oppression. Say no fucking way. I 
I love how the ending to this one is like at the very fucking beginning of the game. You go down behind that pillar at the very beginning of the game, or very beginning of the stage. You need to be able to just sit there and jam, that's true. Sometimes you just have to not even pause the game, just have Plox stand there when you run for a bathroom break. <clears throat> It's a really decent game, even I can say one of the best platforms on the system, but the continue mechanic just throws a lot of good stuff of this game out the window direct. Yeah, I wouldn't say, I definitely wouldn't say garbage bin for this. I do really enjoy this game. Um, they really did fuck up on the, on the continue and checkpoint system though. It was really very weird, but... I guess the the devs wanted battery backup, but the uh, publisher didn't want to spend the money or something. I can't remember. And the devs didn't want to put a password system in because they didn't want to mess with like the flow of the game or something. And that's fair, I guess. Everyone loses. But we still get those hot block jams. So really everybody's a winner. Everybody wins. Plump and juicy. It would have been more popular for sure. Yep. It was just very difficult. But listen to those hot jams. Whoa, where'd he come from? Dude, he was fucking Superman flea. He, he came from like fucking planet Krypton there. Shot out of the sky like a. I did like the fucking superhero landing. <laughs> Even just have continue points after all the bosses, not just some. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Cause this this middle bit is is quite a slog. Number one best thing about the game. I feel like if they wanted, if they wanted with saves and didn't think passwords worked, that means they wanted to auto save so you still have limited continues. Probably, they probably still wanted it to be a similar concept, but <clears throat> um, I'm assuming they would maybe have given more, more checkpoints. I don't know. I mean, why would they? If this is how they kind of figured they wanted it. I don't know. No, oh, fuck off. Time for bed, taking off, James. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see you, dude. I'm gonna try and, uh... Trying to win it some more plot for you here. I'm gonna try and hopefully get to Rocky Fella and beat him tonight and then uh, do a little save after that. But we'll see. I don't know. It's still a, still a long way from still a long way from Rocky Fella. Uh, uh, really. Is this where I went last time? Yeah. Oh, don't do that, Plocky boy. 
Damn it, now I have to go all the way up around again. Fuck. Distributor didn't want to spend the extra battery save. They didn't like passwords, I guess. They're thinking they felt cheap because being too precious forward. Yeah, maybe. It just kind of suffered for it a little bit, you know? Well, I usually go for about four hours. We're coming up on that in about 15 minutes, but... I go five or six sometimes too, so it just depends. We'll see how far we go tonight. Depends on how hungry I get. I haven't eaten dinner yet. What's down in the center? I can't remember, but I think it's just a tree with a fruit, but I don't think I can get back over. Forgot about this dude. So high. Oh, you bitch. Normally they toss that projectile a little further. But not that one. He shoots his wad close. Floating so damn high. Couldn't get to him. Did you freak out when you were jumping onto the uh, the sunken platforms like that, Rob? Or did you did you just trust the sea the seashell trail? And you're like, well, they're pushing me that way with the trail of seashells. Sea it's probably safe to jump over there. Trusted the trail, yeah. Me too. I wish this asshole would come back, though. It's bullshit. That's bullshit. And like he just he won't even fucking stay in one place. There he finally went. Fuck. Trust the happy trail. They did an interview with Retro Gamer and said they didn't want to do passwords because they thought getting they thought gaming magazines would spread. Ah, okay. Which makes sense back then. It would have sort of it would have cheapened the experience for a lot of players if they uh, just did you know read the password in the magazine. Something people had to think about back then. Which is why a battery backup system would have been better with... You just figure out some better checkpoints or something.
No one's forcing you to use it. True. I'm just wondering how the how that would have worked with the battery backup as well now, like would they have done different checkpoints, like additional checkpoints, I don't know. In gaming magazines like that, yeah. With those being popular at the time. It's not something I really considered. Oh, damn it. Alright, we got a bonus block. That's good shit. the hint book all about for Fantasy Star 2? What kind of hints did they give? Super hinty hints? Yeah, this song is pretty dope. No! No! Come on, little plucky boy. Thank you. 
I think you can go in the other direction as well, it's just more difficult to time it to get through. But if the door's coming at you, I think you can still get through it. Bastards. This is the first time that people exp um, will typically experience the uh, plot continue glitch as well. Because there are multiple discs that you can get in this stage. So people will, will get it here unintentionally and then they'll die and it'll skip them past this. Oh, I ducked down while I was walking through it, damn it. Damn it, wrong way. Could be Bubsy, right? Bubsy 3D? Gross. up there asshole I say get the fuck up there asshole could be Mr. Nuts or uh what was that Super Nintendo game
how you backtrack in this one. Rancy game, still pretty good, but awfully unfair. Is it like tough to control or just broken and jank? What's uh, what's it like? Luck and thank you. OST is fantastic and really good shit. Oh. For Mr. Nuts? Is it anything like Conquer's Bad Fur Day? Damn it. Game over. But I have a plot continue. I will not play Equinox. I'm not into the, uh... I'm not into, uh, like, isometric games. Breaks my fucking brain. That's also why I won't play the, uh... Spot goes... Cool Spot goes to Hollywood, even though I played, like... Cool Spot... I played... Cool Spot on Game Boy. I tested out the Master System version of Cool Spot. Uh, but I won't play... I won't play Goes to Hollywood. It's isometric bullshit. All right, well, Max Spider. Oh, I forgot what they did here. I actually played some Snake Route on Roll as a kid, and I didn't mind it, but it didn't. I also played Marble Madness, and that didn't break my brain too much either. But I don't know, like Solstice uh, Equinox, that shit just sort of breaks my brain. Death Scream. Are we into the other phase now, finally? Yeah. Close. Shit. 
not paying attention like I should. We'll get him. Yeah, this boss is pretty cool. I like it. Iraq then fight from DKC3. Um, I just watched someone play that, Chal. Damn it! Should have talked. Fuck. One and two, a lot more than three. Favorite game in the series and top ten for SNES. Oh. I haven't played any of them yet. I've played uh, Donkey Kong Land one for uh, for Game Boy. Not even DKC one. Nope. I didn't have those ki those games as a kid. I didn't even I didn't have Super Mario World. I didn't play that until like last year. for like five bucks, hell yeah. This isn't a flea though, this is a spider. in the wrong way, idiot. What's up, Dr. Butterfingers? How you doing? Welcome in. Hell yeah, it's Plocktober. We're doing it. It shoots a shot for each leg missing. Something like that. It picks it up. Every time you hit it, it picks up and does more, uh, more projectiles for sure. Beat that boss like a boss. Got him.
Still have to get to Rocky Fella and beat him, though. It's going to be tough. We got a few more stages before him. Oh, yeah, it's the Krusty Titties stage. They got Krusty Nipples. Nah, it's not terrible, but there's, uh, boobs with crusty nipples, like they've been sitting underwater and have, like, uh, what's that shit called? Like, coral built up on them or something. Did not need to know that. Whoops. Damn it. There's bees up there. Of course there are. Oh, you bitch. <clears throat> Come on. Uh, it's the same game, yeah. The one he just played recently. This is the one. different somehow more cartoon like I don't know same game <coughs> block for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Get him. There we go. <coughs> the speedrunners of this, it's like 28 minutes. It's crazy. They use a lot of the uh, bonus vehicle stages to, to do the warps, to skip a bunch of stages. Like stage one, instead of going to the right, you go left through the water. And there's fruit over there. And uh, it's a helicopter minigame. And that one will warp you, like, two stages before the first bobbin fight. Um, and then in that next stage, there's, like, another... There's another vehicle stage warp situation. It's crazy. This is just the dude down here, right? Yeah. Fucking bees.
Go get him. Thank you. Yeah, it's like 28 and a half minutes or something crazy. I was watching it last night. It was nuts. Can't fist that one. I gotta go back and get my fists. They would just go to any hangar. Go that way. No, fuck you. I need to get my limbs back. And I don't know where they are. Not that one. We're starting systematically at the bottom, though. Crusty nipples. They've got, like, barnacles growing on them and shit. Look at them. Crusty and barnacle covered. <laughs> it's fun to jump on them because you know they're protected by the barnacles. Boy and Merman. Come back here. Come back here. Go stab him. Thank you. There we go. That'll get, get us our limbs back. Fist that one, like Chulk in Australia. Here we go, chat. Bang. Bang. Did you ever notice this? It's backwards when you shoot it this way. Gnab. But not when you shoot it this way, then it's bang. Gnab. Whoops. They didn't reverse it. Oh shit. No, don't kill him! Kill the fucking hive, you dumbass! You dumbass bees! You're supposed to be my friends! And you won't even fuck up these bees for me! You're like, let me just go shoot that other guy. Okay. I was stuck in the wall. I thought I soft locked myself. Mm. 
No, I'd never even heard of it, but uh, Lucian told me about it a while back, and because uh, he had it as a kid. So I decided to play it on stream. Oh, it's been a couple years now, a couple years back now. But I figured I'd play it this year. For Plocktober. Oh, bastard. Back to the panko breadcrumbs. Pink and purple is what I'm looking for. Not him. the red and gold one now. Oh, he's in between them, I see. He's hiding now. He's hiding. I mean, you can attack them all at once, but it it's super hectic with all their projectiles if you do that. Try and focus on one at a time. It's the timing, it's just the timing is really crazy on it. missing it on that one. I think I need to do it on that pass on the way across. Sort of a pink and teal. I'm working on him next. Oh shit. I got stuck where it shouldn't be. Yeah, 
Yeah, this OST is so good. Very good. The Fallen Brothers. Tim and Jeff. Uh, the boss music is always really good. Super epic sounding. Son of a bitch, come on. Damn it. It takes so damn long because of the timing situation. Are you fighting on a bed of penne? Yeah, penne pasta. Pretty much. Delicious. I'd eat some of that. Like some baked pasta. A penne bake. A mean rotten op Interesting. Now you want baked ziti? Yeah, that sounds good, man. Just some sort of like baked pasta sounds fucking delicious right now. I've had a rotten potatoes. going for... Holy shit, I got him again as he was flying up? How is that possible? That was crazy. Baked pasta in a cream sauce, cheese. Oh yeah, that sounds real nice. The only place open is a drive-through Italian place. It's worse than what it sounds like. <laughs> Can it be as bad as Olive Garden? Damn. I like that strat. If you hit him early enough, you can get him a second time as he's flying back up. D 
decent strat. Olive Garden just puts like 4,000% of your daily sodium in their everything, including their complimentary water, I assume. Here's a nice vintage seawater. I hope you enjoy it. Kick you in the face. Need to augment the flavor a thousand percent to taste good. Fazoli's is probably triple that. I got penne alfredo once and it was salt with a bit of pasta. Gross. Excuse me, waiter, you can pickle cucumbers in this water. Yeah. I am not Aquaman. I do not need ocean water. So how good is ocean water from Sonic? Friends always let friends play Plock Mecha, because it's a good game. It's fun times. What's going on, Mecha? How you doing? Don't Plock Block. Frosty said so. No plock blocking in allowed in here. We don't plock block our friends. Try and Starfy. Yeah, it's been on my list for a long time actually. Um, I just was never able to get the patch to work right. Oh, I thought I had headroom there. Damn it. I tried patching it once in the past, but it didn't like it didn't work. Which is weird. I've never really had issues with patches not working successfully. Typically they work for me. But I've never really fucked around with GBA games much. So I just figured I was doing something wrong. When he gets a, when Plot gets his groove interrupted, mid game like you're cruising through levels, feeling rad, then bam. Cock blocking is when the game totally wipes you out, but block blocking? That's when your buddy hogs the controller all, controller all night. Not cool, man. Both will harsh your block mellow for sure. It's just the, um, it's the continue situation. Dr. Butterfingers, it's, it's a, it's a slog, especially this part of the game that we're in right now. Um, the middle, kind of third of the game gets real fucking, uh, real fucking rough.
Game ratings weren't even a thing when Plock dropped in 93. It was like the wild west of gaming, man. Plock just rode in on its SNES cartridge, no strings attached. Totally radical freedom, bro. Oh, it's Starfy? Yeah, I don't know, because it never... It never got a an English release, I don't think, so... I, don't, I think, uh, obviously, it would have been a lot more popular if it had an English release, but... I think it was just Japan only. What video game magazines rated Plock for N SNES when it was released? They gave it radical scores for its gnarly graphics and tubular gameplay. Come on, Plock, you dumbass. You piece of fucking shit. Tried Beavis and Butthead on Genesis because I was thinking of playing it tomorrow, but I remember it sucking, so I wanted to test it. Memories confirmed. Yeah, I can't remember why it sucked, but I remember it sucking as well. Is it the one where you, like, have to gather Guar tickets? Like, pieces of ripped up Guar tickets or something? Because they want to go to the concert, but... But they can't. Because someone ripped up their tickets. So stupid. GamePro was the iGen of the time in terms of video game ratings. The game that plays more like an RPG. Damn it, I didn't want to do that. Son of a bitch! These are so hard to fucking hit. Oh, dickwad. You get one life, the enemies are huge, and just stalk behind you, shooting shit at you. All the, all you can do is fart at them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When in doubt, just fart at the enemy. Makes sense to me. bit so much. It's so hard to hit these um these bull oh, these bullseyes at the top of these pillars. Don't feel like playing jank right now. <laughs> How'd the rest of the Bahamut Lagoon work out for you? fine to be honest it's a bit boring so I just want to be done with it it's not bad just a slog I gotcha 
Come on. I followed those fucking shells. The hangar, um, some of the, some of the bullseyes that you have to hit will, um, will steal your limb, basically. And so then you have to, um, you have to get it back. And they end up on those hangers. So you have to find the hangar that it's on, go find it and get it back. Not all of them steal your limbs though, only only some stages have the hangar situation. Back, dickhead, come on. I hate that shit. Son of a bitch. I was already at the end. I was just trying to get that health because there's a there's a yellow health berry inside the Inside the fucking beehive. I have to do all this bullshit again. Just to get to the end. I've killed all the fucking fleas and everything already. I just have to get through the stage now. The whole ass fucking stage. Music's good. I only have three limbs? Where the hell did my other limb go? What the fuck? I can get them all back here, but like, where the hell did the other one go? I just never got it back from the hangar back there whenever I dropped one of those platforms? I don't know, it's weird. Me, 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 me. Just let me get to the end. I was already there. Man, fuck that beehive. 
I'm just going above it all. Fuck everyone. I'm taking the high road and saying fuck you all. Fuck the bees. Alright, come on. Plucky boy, we got this. Could not hit that one. This is the flame. This is the fireman. Okay, we're fine. The platform drops, and as it drops, you fall off of it, and then you can't fucking jump. Come on. Block advocate, don't do this to me, Block. You're supposed to be nice to me. You're supposed to be friends, Block. No wing upgrade for Block's limbs? Nope. There is not. Pulls out his, he puts on his wingsuit, and it's pilot wings. He's just like flying around and shit. Flocklet, flocklet wings. Do but a barrel barrel. Pain in mode 7.
Give me that. Man, fuck you and your flea meter. I'm doing something else. Leave me alone, game. Shit, I didn't want to do that one. I wanted to go back the other direction with it. You hoodwinked me, Plock. I got a lot of shells, though. You bastard. Oh, what? Oh, you fucking bastard. Now I need to go all the way around again. Just to fuck with you. Can I get back up there from there? <clears throat> no, it zips you across the screen and it can be helpful sometimes, but I took it the wrong direction. I meant to jump over it and backtrack to the left with it, which is, I assume, the reason that it exists is to get you back to the left again after getting all those seashells. <clears throat> but, if you're facing the wrong direction, whenever you touch it, you go the wrong direction. So what's the saw blade for? Just to fuck with you. I did it too, Rob. It's annoying. Annoying is I have something in my eye. And I need to put some drops in. Give me a minute. I can put some drops in. And probably smoke some weed. That was such bullshit, wasn't it? irritate me because like it always bounces the opposite direction of what you think it's gonna do and then when you're like oh it's gonna go I'm gonna shoot it from the right and it's gonna fly to the right as soon as you think that it does the opposite it does what it's supposed to do it's like fuck man come on Smell some flowers.
Do 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 do. Alright, come on, Pluck. I remember uh, doing basic programming in uh, in like elementary school in one of the computer classes or whatever. And we made little like uh, little triangle turtle things. Walk around the walk around the screen and shit. I took a course in high school once. <clears throat> Fuck, man. <clears throat> that got me right in the fucking lung. Let's see. Um, it was like a probability and statistics class, but it also... It was like... <clears throat> for like half the semester, and the other half was... A graphing calculator course. And we did a lot of, like fucking around with programming in that as well. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Everybody had their TIs, and I had a fucking... I can't remember the model, but it was, it was made by Casio. And it was pretty dope, actually. I can't remember why. I can't remember why I thought it was so much cooler. to none of that. Oh, I did too, but we surprisingly had that for some reason. I don't know. Tell me the difference between positive and negative rights and how it pertains to modern day political science and philosophy. Whoa, heavy topic, dude. Let's keep it light like Fox jumps. How about we talk about the right to radical gameplay and the freedom from laggy controllers? So, you're a fucking idiot. Whoa, harsh vibes, dude. I'm just keeping it rad and on topic. If you want deep thoughts, try blowing on a game cartridge. It's totally zen, man. Yeah, he basically was just telling you to blow him. He's like, you tell him, you, you call me a fucking idiot, you can blow me. That's Frosty's kind way of saying that. Life 2, Final Fantasy 7, or Bioshock. Just don't let the man catch you playing them, you know? Someone mentioned my... The, the, the clacky sounding D-pad earlier. I wonder if it's because, like, is it more noticeable today than it usually is because I changed the volume settings of my mic? I turned my mic up a little bit, maybe? Remember when I got here earlier and I killed that, uh, or I, I, I started to kill that flea and then he jumped off like a fucking asshole? Go to bed right now at 10.29 p.m. on a Saturday? No. I don't think I will, Earl.
Thanks for GG. You're wrong. It's exactly 10.29 p.m. Game Pro, 5 out of 5, mind-blowing RPG that'll melt your, melt your face off. EGM, 9.5 out of 10. More epic than beating Contra without the Konami code. Next Generation, 5 out of 5. So good, you'll forget to feed your Tamagotchi. How do I romance Tifa? Just max out your materia and flex those polygon muscles. But remember, lo uh, true love is like finding a gold chocobo. Totally radical. Don't clock me in the clock. We're all friends here. We don't need to clock each other. Not in the clock holes. Not on Clocktober. Right in the plot hole. Tell you my plan on how to play. No. How are you playing Athena?
go, yeah, hell yeah. It, it's, okay, cool. Like the coolest NPCs in retro games. We're on the same wavelength for Osti. <clears throat> Continued this. Did you ever get that? yellow fruit stuck in the platform come on block run faster dude it's just for this dude basically you just do this Well, that works too, I guess. It's not the ideal solution, but... Guess I can't kill him. I guess you can fight the fleas with it if you still have it by that point. Because there's two fleas in that hallway right there. Block, you idiot. Actually, just getting my eyes are getting tired, so I'm losing focus.
Game over, man. Game over. Doesn't seem worth the effort unless you kill the flower. Usually, I did only if I got hit before. Yeah. Do I think I'm I think I'm probably gonna call it here. We're over five hours now, almost five and a half hours. My eyes are getting tired. Um it's hard for me to keep with it at the moment I think but uh, we'll do a little save here because this is one of our checkpoints no rocky fella tonight nah I'm, I'm gonna get to him next time um, we're gonna we're gonna pause the Super Nintendo until next stream so that we uh, still have our checkpoints intact and we'll start up from here next time um, I'm sure we can get through rocky fella next stream uh, we're getting through this at a decent pace for me. Because the first time I played through it, man, it was, uh, it took a while. But, uh, we're getting there. I'm, um, I'm happy with the progress for now. Let me see who's streaming tonight. We'll do a little raid. Share some love. Haven't raided him. Maybe ever? I don't know, let me see. Do, 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 do. Eternal Darkness, cool. Let's go visit Sconebone. Anybody like Sconebone? He's got a legendary mustache. Um, but thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. Uh, wish we could have gotten to Rocky Fella tonight, but it's just not in the car. It's just not in the cards tonight. Uh, but that's okay, because October is an entire month long. We've got time. We're not in a hurry. So I'm gonna pick it up there next time. Let me get this raid going. Scone bone video. And um, yeah. Have a good rest of your weekend, everybody. I'll be back on Tuesday, at which time we will continue our Plocktober celebrations. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, Lag Masuta, Jamword, Rob, uh, James earlier. We had Formal, we had uh, Dino was here, Dr. Butterfingers, uh, Earlish. Who else did we have tonight? We had a couple of raids. The Finer Things TTV. Uh, Rob, thanks for those raids. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? We had all kinds of people pop in. from. Oh, and Chinese Hulk raided at the very beginning, too. Uh, thanks for that raid, Chulk. Mecha was here. And that's as far back as my chat goes at the moment. So, uh, yeah. Be back on Tuesday with more Plock. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.